In this video, we will discuss the Trojan Win32 SABSIC FLAML and the ways to remove it from a computer. First, please subscribe to our channel to receive updates and the latest guides. Trojan Win32 SABSEQ FLAML is a computer Trojan infection that will attempt to connect to a remote server and download additional malicious files. This Trojan may also adjust settings on the Windows registry to load itself each time you start Windows. Other alterations in the system can conceal the Trojan and bypass any firewall security. Carefully execute the procedures on this video to successfully remove Trojan Win32 SABSEQ FLAML. First, let us proceed to automatic removal using Combo Cleaner. Combo Cleaner is an anti-malware and system cleaner. It is an effective tool to get rid of harmful malware, including Trojans, viruses, and unwanted programs. To download Combo Cleaner, please click the link in the description below. After downloading Combo Cleaner, proceed with its installation in the same manner as you would with other programs. Make sure that it runs automatically after the installation. Combo Cleaner starts by downloading updates and then proceeds with the scan. After completing the virus scan, it will display the list of identified threats. Automatic removal of the threat requires the premium version of Combo Cleaner. The premium version will not only remove the detected threats, but also protect your computer from malware attacks. Before we begin, make sure that you are logging in with an administrator account. To check for this, press Windows key and R on your keyboard. Then type net plwiz in the field. Click OK or press Enter on your keyboard. The user accounts window will display. It will show if the current account is an administrator. After confirming that your account is an admin, we can now proceed to the procedures. It is important that you note the detected harmful files on your computer. We will need to remove them later. You may take a screenshot of it or write it down on a notepad. The Trojan file and location on your computer could be different than my example. Next, we will boot Windows in safe mode with networking. During safe mode, the Trojan may not load most of its components, making it easier to delete. To begin, press Window key plus R on your keyboard. You will see a Run dialog box. Type msconfig in the field and click OK to open System Configuration. In the System Configuration window, click on the Boot tab. Under the Boot options, click on Safe Boot and select Network. Click on the Apply button and OK to restart Windows. After booting Windows in safe mode, we will now uninstall suspicious programs. Press the Windows key plus R on the keyboard. In the Run dialog box, type appwiz.cpl to open the Programs and Features window. Next, arrange the programs in chronological order to see the most recently installed programs. Select a suspicious program that you do not remember installing. Click the Uninstall button to remove it from Windows. After the uninstall procedure, please close the Programs and Features window and proceed to the next step. Next, we will need to delete malicious files that Windows Security cannot delete. Open the File Explorer. On the top menu, click the View tab. Select Show from the list and activate Hidden Items. Next, proceed to the location of the detected Trojan file earlier. The file detected on my computer could be different than the one on your computer. 
Once you locate the malicious file, delete it. Now we will delete the temporary files under your account. Go to C Users, your username, app data, local, and temp folder. Select all the files in this folder and delete them. If there are files left undeleted, it is normal and could be related to File Explorer. Next, we will delete the Windows Defender scan history, which may include malicious files that were quarantined. Go to C, Program Data, Microsoft, Windows Defender. You can delete the quarantine folder or just the files inside it. Proceed to the scans folder and then history then results folder. Delete all items inside it. Go back to the History folder and open the Service folder. Delete all files inside it. You can now close File Explorer and proceed to the next step. To make sure the computer is clean, we will run an online virus scan. Open your internet browser program and search for ESET Free Online Scanner. Click on the search result to open ESET's website. Select One Time Scan to use it for this particular case. Keep in mind that this can delete Trojans but does not provide computer protection. Locate the downloaded file and right-click on it, then select Run as Administrator. On the ESET Online Scanner interface, click on Computer Scan. Next, select the Full Scan option. Lastly, click on Start Scan to begin checking the computer. Scanning may take a while, please wait for it to complete. The scanner automatically resolves the issues and provides results. You may review it and then close the ESET online scanner afterwards. <music> Lastly, we will now exit safe mode and start Windows normally. Press the Windows key plus R on your keyboard. In the Run dialog box, please type msconfig. Click OK or press Enter on the keyboard to open System Configuration. In order to boot Windows normally, please select Normal Startup from the selection. Click Apply and then OK. If the prompt appears, click the Restart button. We hope that this tutorial has helped you remove the Trojan from the computer. Kindly support this channel by subscribing and liking our videos. Thank you for watching.